Italy's Campi Flegri volcano hit by 150 earthquakes in just five hours. Europe's awakening Campi Flegri volcano experiencing its biggest seismic swarm in 40 years, with 150 earthquakes rocking the region in southern Italy in the evening of May 20th. Now we know that Vesuvius is there. The wave of 150 earthquakes rocked the Campi Fregli volcano near Naples last week, the biggest swarm in four decades. The seismic, seismic swarm began May 20th, just before 8 p.m. local time, which included a magnitude 4.4 earthquake. I didn't make a video of that at that, at that, at that, that time. And at a depth of 1.6 miles or 2.5 kilometers below the surface, experts wrote in a statement, the swarm lasted about five hours. It sparked panic amongst residents, of course, in the nearby towns, but there were no reported injuries. This, is, this area is inflating, by the way, meaning magma is being uh, filling it. Now, 39 families were temporarily evacuated from their homes at that time, as small tremors were still being felt around lunchtime, May 21st. This is the most powerful seismic swarm in the last 40 years. Morio Antonio De Vito, volcanologist, director of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, Vesuvius Observatory told the news channel, Campi Flegri is Europe's largest active caldera. It's a supervolcano, as we know, and the volcano is showing signs it could be creeping towards an eruption. A caldera is a type of crater that forms when the roof of a volcano collapses into the magma chamber as it empties during an eruption. Campi Flegri last erupted in 1538 in the months prior to that blast. The ground swelled and rose by 66 feet, that's 20 meters, then subsided again as a volcano ejected its stores of magma. The ground beneath Puzioli, a town located near the center of this caldera, had been rising for the past 20 years. Christopher Kilburn, professor of volcanology and geophysics hazards at University College London in the UK, said in an interview December 2023, Irregular patterns of seismicity started to pick up about 10 years ago and have been increasing ever since, Kilburn said. Similar patterns of swelling in seismic activity, known as various seismic crises, occurred in the 1970s and 80s. Between 1982 and 84, the ground in the Campi Flegri area rose at a rate of about 3.5 inches per month, per month. 9 centimeters per month, triggering more than 1,300 earthquakes per month, according to the INGV of Italy statement. Most of them were too small to be felt, but they started to get larger ones, which the population could feel and raise the alarm, Kilburn said, and then everything stopped. The ground did not subside back to pre-crisis levels in the 1970s and 80s, meaning every bit of uplift stretches Earth's crust further each crisis starts where the previous one finished, Kilburn said. The ground is currently lifting at a rate of almost an inch per month, two centimeters per month, according to the statement, and there has been no change in this rate since last week's seismic swarm. Around 450 earthquakes have been recorded in the last month compared to 1,252 quakes in April 2024, most of which had a magnitude of less than one. Temperatures and flows of carbon dioxide measured at the surface of Campi Flegri also show no significant changes compared with recent months. The reason for the swelling remains unclear. There is some debate about whether that's really accumulation of gas, accumulation of magma, or the hydrothermal system is being disturbed, Hilbert said. Whatever the exact cause, if you stretch something for long enough, it's going to break somewhere. Following last month's seismic swarm, Gaetano Manfredi, the mayor of Naples, said the situation was under control and there was no risk of eruption, according to reports. Experts told the news channel that the volcano is unlikely to erupt any time soon. This is by Sacha Parr in Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. 
the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.